Hello everyone, this is Fawad. Welcome to my channel, Future on Cloud. In today's video, I am going to show you how I have set up my nested virtual lab in VMware environment. So let's get started. If you look at the picture on the left hand side, there's the physical connectivity of my physical server, which is R730, with my network switch, which is 3750. As you can see here, VMNIC 0, 1, and 2 are connected on my physical switch port 11, 3, and 12. Port 11 and 3, which are connected with VMNIC 0 and 1, are dedicated for other virtual machines which are not related to our lab. For our lab environment, we only use VMNIC 2, right? For that, on on 3750, I have created two, two VLANs, VLAN 10 and VLAN 20, 10 for the site A and 20 for site B. So VLAN 10 having the this IP, 10.254 and VLAN 20 is with 20.254. The, the configuration of interfaces 11, 3 and 12 is as follow. All interfaces are configured in the trunk mode. So if you look at in, in the middle of the picture, VMNIC2 is dedicated for the for our lab environment as on this physical host I have installed ESXi 7.0. On top of that I have created 6 virtual machines with VMware ESXi 6.5. are part of site A management and three VMs are part of site B. In site A, two virtual machines H1A like host 1A and host 1B are member of compute cluster and host 1, host 3 is part of management cluster of site A. For site B, ESXi 01B, 02B are part of compute cluster and 03B is a member of management cluster. If you look at the physical connectivity, VMNIC2 is connected with the distribution lab switch which we will for our all nested environment and remaining two interfaces are connected and serving other virtual machines so we will not use other two so let's jump into the phys into the, the lab environment this is my physical server which is running 6.7 dell power edge r730 16 core 271 272 gb of ram and uh, TB of hard drive. So in this ESXi environment, I have configured one vCenter server and add this host into that vCenter server. So this is how it looks like. This is the vCenter server which is running on on this host, and this is the IP address of my vCenter server. This is the Active Directory future on cloud data center not exactly data center it's domain controller which is managing my vCenter ser server which is for this host and my nested virtual machines for site A I have created one resource pool and likewise for site B in site A these are three SXI hosts H1A, H2A and H3A. These are the same virtual machines which was reflecting here. 1A, 2A and 3A for site A. 1B, 2B and 3B for site B. 1B, 2B and 3B for site B. 1A is having IP address 10.10. .10. and h3 10.12 e2 
with VM having four network adapter and these are some resource which I have allocated you can allocate as per your availability of resources so two interfaces are connected with the management network and remaining two are connected with the nested trunk port group we will look into it in a while likewise for host 2 and host 3 as well same thing I have replicated here in H1 H2 H3 but those are connected with site B management and nested trunk my active directory is also connected on site A management uh, this is another VLAN uh, which I have connected just to access it from outside the network outside the virtual lab so this is the distributed lab switch in which I was showing here the lab switch so in this lab switch one uplink is connected This is VMNIC2 and on physical connection this is VMNIC2 which is carrying our all virtual machines traffic. So nested trunk is configured with VLAN trunking and it is carrying all the VLANs and promiscuous mode is accepted for port transmission is accepted for site A VLAN 10 is configured and site B VLAN 20 is configured as I have shown here in the picture VLAN 10 and VLAN 20 is configured on my physical switch on host 3A I have installed one vCenter server This is my ESXi host 3A virtual machine. This one it is having platform service controller 01A and vCenter server 01A. If you look at the networking part. Currently it is connected with standard switch platform service controller and vCenter server for other virtual machines which we will configure here in our compute cluster those virtual machine will will use these two uplinks which are configured with the trunk port but right now these two are carrying tag traffic which is for VLAN 10 So in host 1 and host 2 currently VMs are not configured but I will configure it in, in next stage. For site B again it is carrying the management traffic. If you look at the management host it is carrying the virtual machine traffic as well which is for B center server 01B. B center server 01B is connected with the platform service controller. This is the reason you can see the both B center servers are available. So, in this way, we can manage both sides from the single platform. If you look at here, I have created one virtual machine which is connected with the with port group 20 which is carrying VLAN 20's traffic and this VM is part of VLAN 20. 
and it is passing through its traffic with VMIC2 and VMIC3 which are 3 and 4 are connected with the trunk interface so its VM traffic will pass through these trunk interfaces As you can see here, VMLink 0 and 1 are connected with virtual switch 1 and remaining 2 are connected with lab switch. So this is it for now. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.